Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Absinthe 9 from Cine's Labs. If you guys want to know what I think about this scent, then keep watching. If you watching. guys didn't know, Cine's Labs is probably my favorite indie house. I am absolutely in love with his creations. Uh, it's one of the first fragrances I reviewed on my channel. I have just when I discovered him, and I'm not saying like I discovered him, but when I learned about him and his fragrances, I just was immediately enthralled and excited. And I just always look forward to the new things that he releases and just generally am super like in love with the house and his creations. So transparency purposes, I purchased this. This was not sent to me to review. I did buy this. So Absinthe 9. I purchased this scent, I forget, it's been a bit, it's been a little bit, and this has been a part of some of my videos of my favorites. I just generally, like, as soon as I smelled this scent, I was just completely blown away. So the notes in this scent here, we have star anise, artemisia, I think I pronounced that wrong, patchouli, palo santo, tolu balsam, licorice, and musk. Now licorice as a note in fragrances is something that I've really been enjoying. I hate, hate the taste of licorice. Not a fan of it, but I actually really like the smell of it. So this was something when I was reading the notes and just being very familiar with his creations, I was so super excited to get my hands and nose on. So yeah, that is this scent. Now, just to be clear, I love this fragrance. I absolutely adore this fragrance, but I did want to review it for you guys. So absinthe is something I've had the pleasure and the repulsion to drink. Sometimes I really enjoy it, sometimes... Not so much, it really depends on my mood. But I do kind of love the mystery, the magic, and kind of the sexiness around absinthe. And I think that this fragrance completely captures that. It's very mysterious, it's very complex, there's layers to it, but also at the same time, it's really smooth and a little bit sweet. There's just like a lot of little nuances in this scent that I absolutely love. Now, one of the things about this fragrance that I was a little worried about was the star anise. That can be a bit overpowering in a scent. It's just a very overpowering note in general. And paired with the licorice, I worried that it would be a little bit too licorice-y and you wouldn't get any of the other beautiful notes. But I actually find it to be very balanced, which is something that I really, really like. I do like the fact that there's a little bit of an earthiness to that. You got that kind of like green leaf just like that balsam scent which is really really nice but at the same time the licorice is the star of the show and i think it's just very well balanced and it's elevated just enough with the other notes but it's also toned down in all the right ways so i find this scent to be just absolutely intoxicating really beautiful and really special at the same time so definitely love absinthe nine from cine's labs again gorgeous scent really fantastic. Uh, for longevity and performance, this fragrance lasts about four hours on my skin, and I think that it has a decent projection when you wear it for the first hour or two, then it becomes a little bit of a skin scent and mild siage. So that is my thoughts on Cine's Labs. I will link this fragrance below. It is not an affiliate link whatsoever. I don't get anything at all when you use that link. But this is an indie house that I absolutely love and definitely recommend checking out. Everything I've tried from there has been really unique and special and amazing. And this is like this one, forgive not forget, and I think one other scent, or like my top three from the house. But I'm just so in love with this fragrance. And if you guys like licorice and you want something a little bit unique and special and sexy that you could wear year round, definitely check this out. This is a unisex fragrance so men or women can rock it, so definitely don't at all feel intimidated about checking it out. It is fantastic. And I love the color of the juice. I think it's pretty appropriate as well. In any case, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye!